to all you beautiful people. It is me, Coach Christy, and today I am um, coming to you, starting back my videos, and today is definitely just a day of transparency and walking by faith. So, I'm not going to be long with this video, but I just wanted to um, just be transparent and talk to you all from my heart and just kind of give you where I've been in this season and where God has taken me and what God is doing with my faith. Um, so if any of you join my live on Facebook after I did my book signing in March. For those of you that don't know, I'm a first time author and I did a book signing in Little Rock and then I did one here in Dallas. I believe it was in March. And after that book signing, I went live and I talked a little bit about my book and I let people know that, you know, I'll be starting back my videos and just putting more content out relationship wise, um, single wise, you know, how to enjoy your singlehood, things you should be doing, tips and things of that nature, just from my perspective and what I've enjoyed. And I thought that I was just going to take off, but that didn't happen. And I was kind of confused as to why it wasn't happening and why I was kind of like stagnant. And the Holy Spirit dropped the topic, you know, to me and let me know what my topic, what my first topic would be. And my first topic is don't give up. So basically, you know, my testimony that I share with you all today, um, the topic of this will be don't give up. So I'm just going to share with you my journey from me doing that live to today and i'm gonna try to make it quick i don't want to be long but like i said i was very stagnant um just kind of like trying to understand what do i want to say how do i want to package this up like uh where do i want to record it at you know and what do i want to wear and you know i got to do my makeup and i got to make sure you know, just all the things that come with content. And if you are a content creator, you do videos and um, you try to make sure you look presentable. You know what I mean when I'm saying all the things that come through your mind. But again, it's really all a setup of the enemy to keep you distracted and make you feel like you have to have all these things perfect. And a lot of my friends, they joke with me because they are, I'm the planner. I'm the planner of the group. I'm... I'm always going to make sure, you know, we have everything, you know, checked off the list. And so I do that in a lot of aspects of my life. And so when it came to this topic that the Holy Spirit dropped on me, don't give up. It was, okay, how do I, what, what is my beginning going to be? What is my middle going to be? What is the ending going to be? And the whole time that I'm steady trying to get all these things together, Things were happening in my life and we're here today and my message is basically <laughs> everything that God had did in my life to get me right here to just speak to you all. So I could not really package up how I wanted to present this message and you know, April, May came by. So May was my birthday month. So I totally was not doing anything in May. I was like celebrating all month. I'm like, okay, Lord, give me May. You know, you told me to um, finish my book. I did that. You know, I've completed that assignment. And I knew that after that assignment was done, my next assignment was to start back doing my videos. So I'm like, okay, let me get May. Cool. Celebrating my birthday all month. June came and I really didn't have an excuse. It was just, I was working on other parts of my business, but not necessarily doing the, the videos, you know, just making this video. And so one thing that I have become accustomed to last year, I 
paid off my car. And it was a great accomplishment for me because I had, this was my first vehicle that I paid off. Like all my other cars and things of that nature, my parents had got, maybe they, you know, purchased it. Um, and so I didn't have a car no, which was a blessing as well. But I never actually had the responsibility of going to a car lot, getting a car and paying it off. So, you know, me paying the, my truck off, my SUV, I was very happy about that. And so, you know, when you have certain things that you feel accomplished by, I personally felt like I took on the responsibility of making sure that I, 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 I do the things to keep this, this car up. So, you know, I'm getting my oil changed. I'm doing all the things that I should do. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, and y'all say us women, we can be mindless when it comes to cars. <laughs> but, you know, my dad works on cars and stuff. So, I'm, I'm really um, knowledgeable as far as making sure you get your oil changed. You know, your tire light come on. Knowing how to check your tire pressure. Doing all those things, right? So, I do that. But one thing that I kind of get a joy out of is um, I got I have a membership to a car wash. So I take my car once a week. I take my SUV once a week to get it washed. Um, I wash it and then I vacuum it out. Well, I don't wash it. I take it through the car wash, vacuum it out, and then, um, you know, do all the cleaning things. So I pay $20 a month so I can go anytime and get it washed. But I make sure I go once. A week because I want to get my $20 worth right <laughs> so taking it and I do it every week and one of my friends joked with me she was like you know if if I didn't know you I would swear you was a man because the way that you make sure you wash that car you know and it's funny but um that's just you know what I do and I enjoy it you know so I do that every week right and Nothing stops me from doing that. So, fast forward. Well, before we fast forward. So, talking to friends, um, kind of going and hanging out with friends, probably like the end of July and stuff like that. Um, a few of my friends had asked me, it was just crazy, like in different settings it, with the different friends. They've asked me like, so what's next? What are you doing next? What do you have up your sleeve? You know, what are you going to be working on next? And I'm like, I'm going to start my videos. I'm going to start back doing content. You know, um, I went live and I said I was going to start back doing my videos. So July, I'm going to do that. I'm going to start that up. So they're like, okay, cool. You know, that's, that's great. I can't wait. And so July comes and I know that that's the assignment that I have, but for some reason I'm stuck and I don't know like why I'm stuck or, you know, what's going on. And so again, I'm still, you know, trying to package up how this should look, what I should say, how I should say it. And meanwhile, um, we get to mid-July, um, and I end up, somebody ended up hitting my car. It was a hit and run. They hit the car, did whatever they were going to do, left, basically. And so, it really bothered me. It, it bothered me to the core. Um, I was really upset, like mad and granted, I mean, rightfully so, right? Anybody hit your car while you're in a store, wherever you're at and take off. Yeah, you're going to be mad. So I was in the gym and I felt like it happened at the gym. I, I don't know. Okay. Well, I'm not even going to get into all that. Just let's, let's just stay, stay the course. Okay. Hit and run. It's not a bad, it wasn't bad, but it, it was, it was. It was enough to get me bothered and flustered, right? And I get home and I'm, you know, just reflecting and everything. And then the Lord showed me that I don't have to do anything to get you to wash that truck every week. But you are finding all these different excuses and these different things that you're coming up with not to just do a video, just speak, 
Like, all I want you to do is speak. I want you to get back in that motion of doing that thing. And that's all God wanted me to do. So the hit and run, although I was upset and mad, it was like, bing, you know, like wake up. It was a wake up. You know what I'm saying? In in my meditation and in my time alone, I understood that immediately like, wow, nobody has to tell me to go wash this truck every week. I'm going to do it. Like, <laughs> it's going to happen. And for me to be at that place, it was like, wow, okay. Okay, I see what you're doing. So I was like, all right, okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna start. And then I believe, you know, you cook all the ingredients, you put everything in a pot. I I it was it was a multitude of things because I, I would say, you know, it was a little bit of fear in there as well. Like, you know, you haven't done videos in so long, like, you know, you kinda out of touch, you know. How you gonna do this thing? It was just everything, y'all. Like seriously, everything. So I'm still trying to push and push and push my way through to just go on ahead and because I know July I said I was gonna do this thing. <laughs> and now that I had this hit and run, and God is this is pretty much something that's happening because God is trying to wake me up. Like, you know, you don't do what I asked you to do. Like I can I, I can really have somebody demolish that truck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like I just really had them put a dent in it. You know, I ain't do too much damage. Because I really want you to wake up. And so I was like, okay. Again, July is steady going on. I'm really still not, I, I, I haven't done anything as far as opening up my mouth to do the video. So time goes on and then we get all the way to um, the 29th. And I had been posting, some of you might, may have seen the flyer I had been posting. I had been posting, I was dancing at a conference on the 29th. And so, I go to this conference, I dance. I did two dances. It was an amazing conference. Um, the things that the two speakers got up there and spoke about, it was just, it was, it was really, really good. And they were just very open, transparent. It was heartwarming. It was heartfelt. And I truly enjoyed it. Well, the second lady that got up and spoke, um, you know, she was doing prayer and um, she was a prophetess. And so she was speaking into the lives of, you know, of, of, of us there at the conference. And so closer to the end, she called me up to the front and she spoke into my life. And she said that while I was seeing you dance, I saw God was speaking to me and God said that you're a beautiful dancer, but you hide behind your dancing because that's your comfort zone. You feel safe there. Excuse me. Look, I put my tissue here and I know everybody that know me, I already know I'm a cry baby. And so I came suited up because I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> but, um, she said, you know, you hide behind it. She said, but your ministry is in your mouth. And she said, you need to just, you need to start speaking. You need to use your mouth. That's where your purpose is. And that's what you're going to build. And um, it touched my heart because it's true. And, you know, like I said, I have been struggling. And I had already made a declaration that July I'm going to start back with my videos and start back talking and, you know, start back just doing everything that I was doing before I stopped to write my book. 
And so in that moment, I know I don't know this lady from a can of paint. And I and I honestly, I was like, <laughs> do she know me? Like, I knew it was God. Let me say this. I knew it was God. But in the moment, I'm just like, let me see if we Facebook friends. Because you probably already know me. <laughs> you probably know some stuff about me. Because I just, you're really hitting some things right on the head of what I'm dealing with and what, me, what I'm wrestling with right now. And kind of being stagnant with where God is really trying to show me. He done already, you know, got a ding in my truck. Okay, he had got my attention, but it still wasn't enough to make me that day. I should have cut the camera on that day. And I didn't. So this lady is coming, speaking to me. And, and God is just speaking through her to reassure me that you're in the right place. You're doing the right things. You're on the right path. But this is what I need of you. And so, it genuinely blessed me. Um, and I was just, she said a, a, a multitude of things to me. But everything that she said was right on point, right on time. And it lined up with the conversations I had literally been having with some of my friends here within the past weeks. Our intimate conversations that we, I'm doing the podcast, um, on my phone too so if y'all keep seeing me looking at it, i'm looking making sure this thing is still recording as i'm doing this video but anyway so i am trying to um so she's speaking all these things to me and i'm just sitting here in awe right but everything that she's saying, I literally have been having these conversations with friends. So there's no way she could be speaking these things to me. She ain't been sitting with me in all these different conversations and talking to me with my friends and knowing the things that I've been saying to them. And everything she's saying to me is the things that I've been saying. Ain't no way. There is just no way. There was nobody but God. So I literally was just, um, I was blessed by it. And after the conference, I was going home. I just kept crying. I kept crying. Crying all the way home. But tears of happiness and joy and just in awe of how God will speak to you and reach you through a stranger. You know, so I just cried all the way home. Got home. And y'all know it don't take much for me to cry, as you can see. Oh, um, Got all the way home, cried, came here in this very living room and just cried. I put on some praise and worship music and I just poured out to God. And I was like, God, I'm ready. You know, I surrender. You know, give me the strength. And Just being a total vessel to what you want me to do. And I literally stayed in this living room and just cried and laid on the floor for an hour just worshiping God. You know, because you don't really get moments like that too often where it's, it's right on time. You know, sometimes you can have these conversations and you can want signs and things from God, but sometimes God will make you wait. So, because I, I started saying I was going to start doing this stuff in July, like at the end of June, and then in July, it was like, God was like, yeah, you're going to do it. You declared it and you're going to do it. You know, but sometimes God may wait until... December before he's like boom upside your head you know but he literally because I declared that he literally start doing things in my life to make me understand like no you're gonna get this done in July and so um that was the 29th and I was just so blessed and um it was the night of it was fight night and my friend had a fight party at her house and so I was going to text her and tell her, look, I'm not going to be able to make it, you know, because I had been crying. And so I was just drained, like drained. It took everything out of me because I had literally been crying for like two, three hours straight from the time that the lady spoke to me until time. It was like about two or three hours. So I had just been drained. But 
The Lord said, no, go ahead, get up, go. Like, no, I'm not, like, I get that you're, you're blessed and you're in awe and you're, you feel like, you know, you're wanting to move forward and you understand where I'm at, but no, still go, go, get up and go. Because all you're going to do if you, if you stay here is you're going to stay in the bed and cry. So I said, okay, got up, got my stuff, left and went. And then I stayed the night over and then the next day on the 30th, um, me and my friend and her sister, we were just all talking and we were just having just casual conversation as, as I do with many of my friends and we were just talking and then we got on the subject of, you know, just being faithful and walking in your purpose and things of that nature. And the conversation was just so good and so rich and it's, it's so good to have meaningful connections with people and, you know, be able to pour into one another and lift each other up and and have insight, you know, to build each other up. And so um, one of my friends, she she told us, she said, you know, you all make a declaration today. It's what you're going to do, how you're going to move forward. And so we did that and it was just it was enlightening and it was powerful and it was moving. And it also it just it, it ignited a fire, you know, that the fire that already had been lit from all of the things that had already been happening in July. And so I got home yesterday on the 30th and I, you know, was praying and meditating again before I went to bed. And so I got up, um, got up this morning and God said, today is the day. Today is the day. You know, you need to speak today. And today, you all, today is July 31st. It's the last day of July. So, I still did it. I still accomplished the goal to do the video in July, just to speak, just to say what's on my heart. Being obedient.